try to get past Luca. He's doing some crossovers, spin move, layup, and then today we're gonna be doing a Victor Wembanyama rebuild. He is seen as one of the greatest prospects since LeBron James, and today we're gonna be seeing how his career turns out in the NBA. Of course, it's all auto-generated, so we don't really know what his real career is gonna be like. I'm sure you guys know, but we're gonna see what 2K thinks his career will end up being like in the future. So going in, he's already projected to be the first overall pick. Let's have Scoot Henderson in the draft, Asor Thompson, Derek Whitehead, and a couple other players. We can see how they turn out too in the future. Let's simulate this regular season because we are still in the 2022-23 season. So I'll see you guys by the end. We're going into the draft lottery. The projected first pick is the Clippers via OKC Thunder. I have no idea how they got this pick, but if the Clippers get this, I, I don't even know what to say. We're going to the top three right now. Number three projected is the jazz and let's see and it's the okc thunder so i'm pretty sure that's the clippers pick that we're gonna get oh yeah they had the right to swap picks so they're taking the third pick let's see who's number one it might be the jazz number two is going to be the jazz and number one is i think we know who number one is here jazz could get scoot and victor wempanyama no way this is gonna happen the rivals are gonna turn into teammates oh man it's gonna be fun to see if scoot scoot goes here i'm gonna try to do a scoot uh career simulation after this anyways but if scoot gets here i'm it's gonna be fun to see all right let's go to the draft let's see who gets picked first overall it is victor projected let's see and victor wempanyama is the first overall pick 74 209 pounds from france oh absolute physical freak the tallest player and has the longest wingspan in the draft see utah jazz select Goo henderson and victor wambanyama are gonna be on the same team i'm gonna skip the rest of the draft wow this is insane nice let's see what they're projected to be bill walton is the ceiling and minute ball as a starter floor Scoo Henderson, Hall of Fame ceiling, and Robert Pack starters floor. Yo, this is crazy. I can't believe they both got selected by the Utah Jazz. All right, so we're gonna go to the Utah Jazz now. We're gonna switch sides. So of course we don't, we do not control this team at all. And looks like they got two players in the free agency pool, and one of them was Jordan Poole, 85 overall with Kyle Kuzma at an 80 overall power forward. So yo, this team is ready to go right now. They have a small forward, power forward, a shooting guard, a point guard and a center this team is full of 80 overalls and it's good enough honestly to play right now this is gonna be a great year first year for them scoot already has 38 minutes so does victor wembanyama at 38 he's jersey number 34 i'm gonna see if i could get jersey number one for him so number one is retired and so is number 32 so he's going to be sticking with number 34 i guess and this is scoot henderson in the utah jazz jersey uh the cyber face isn't the best i'm still working on it i just I didn't change the face texture yet, really. So, you know, it's not the best right now. So, first game ended up being an L. That's fine. We're going to simulate the regular season and see how they do in their rookie year. At the end of the season, we have Trey Young winning MVP with almost 40 points per game, 14 assists, 4 rebounds, and 1.2 steals. I don't know what Trey is doing over there, but if you guys see our win to loss record, we had 35 wins and 47 losses. I guess this just shows the immaturity in our lineup, and we just need more more vets to help us out and probably go further in the playoffs and you know as we get older in the simulation most of these players are going to get better and we're going to be able to play as a good team rookie of the year of course victor wembanyama but these stats are insane 22 points 12 rebounds almost four assists 1.3 steals and 4.4 block on 49 42 71 percentage what the hell <laughs> what is victor on bro this guy's on like something they gotta check him like for real it's just a drug test so nothing to be scared of i'm excited what kind of drugs are we testing <laughs> <laughs> victor was the defensive player of the year in his first year what 4.4 blocks so this guy already has a dpoy all nba third team has victor wempanyama in it so this guy won third team all nba defensive player of the year first team all defense and rookie of the year all in the same year Year. this guy this guy is the real deal all right like that's all i can say all defensive first team all defensive second team and the all rookie teams look like this scoot did not make an all rookie team huh nah something's wrong here there's no way okay yeah so it said he had 12 years bro i put it down to zero that's kind of annoying he should have definitely been all rookie first team look these stats are pretty amazing 19.8 points 3.8 rebounds six assists one steal and 0.1 blocks on 40 36 83 but of course you know victor 
He's the guy who we're looking at here, and he definitely had an impressive season, if I say so myself. Going to player progression, and Victor Wembanyama is an 84 overall, with Scoot Henderson also being an 84 overall. For some reason, Jordan Poole went down one overall. I don't know why. I have to go check that out. Maybe he's like glitched out or something. And we also have Herbert Jones in our team. He's an 83 overall, and they gave DeMar DeRozan a three-year, 91 million contract, and he's an 81 overall. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, this team is not going to be good if they keep this up because what are we going to do when uh, Victor and Scoop both need, need, a, need a payday? Because they're the ones that we need to give the money to, not DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> oh man. All right. Hopefully they keep this team intact because it's gonna be sad to see scoot and victor split up after they just became teammates finally so these guys gave demar the rosen a three-year contract and he's not even starting bro what is wrong with this team man oh my god Halfway. take a few steps back to go you ain't got the answers man this has got to be the worst signing in the nba history i'm calling it let's go and simulate the season because i i just can't even look at this team anymore i'm so upset that they even did this demar the rosen this isn't the same guy from like two years ago he's an 80 something overall bro, are you serious right now bro hey i'm gonna just let you guys know this team sucks ass man we're coming back a little at the middle of the season but this team sucks man it's all demar's fault I, why did they get demar whatever but we got our first all-star and it is victor wembanyama he got his first all-star and he's on team lucas so that's cool to see i just wanted to show you guys that at the end of the season we had 37 wins 45 losses i think it's around the same as a rookie year mvp trey young again I, what is who is this guy bro did they switch trey young with luka Doncic or something and like gave him the same hairline i say hold up wait a minute Something ain't right. I don't understand. How is this guy the MVP, bro? How does he average this much? I mean, I understand why he's the MVP because look at those numbers, but how is he doing this? 36 points and 13 assists. Who is this guy playing with? Well, I know y'all got a, probably a big group of people working there, and we was just thinking, do y'all got room for three more? Group? Uh, no, it's just me, man. Just man who henderson is a rookie of the year yeah that's a little glitch okay so you know i mean that's cool with me we got two rookie of the years <laughs> victor does make all nba first team that's pretty cool he does average around the same amount of points though he only has 0.1 more we are not in the play-in tournament that sucks Ooh, oh my god all right so these guys are like following each other and they both go up to well, Victor went up to 90 overall, and Scoot went up to 89. They're literally following each other. They they don't want to be beat by the other. Teamwork make a dream work. I said it earlier. Superstars this year, thankfully. We got Victor and Scoot Henderson. They both look sick. And then we got two small forwards. What is this? What's going on here? We got two good small forwards in Herbert Jones and Osman Dieng. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Jordan Poole, he went up one overall. Like, uh, he's staying at 85, I guess. I, I feel like that's his peak. Kyle Kuzma, he went up one overall somehow. Sean Stewart, that's our, that was one of our picks. He's he's all the way to an 81 already. And then we got O'Shea Agbaje. He went up two overall, and he is an 80 overall now. There's no way this team doesn't go to the playoffs, right? We got like 70, 80 overalls. Look at this. We got like at least a 10 man lineup already with 80 overalls. And we got Mar DeRozan, with <laughs> 77 overall with two years and 62 million dollars i hate the utah jazz i cannot believe they got him this contract okay yo he had a great season i'm not gonna lie he had a good season i see why they also gave him the contract because the year before he had 26 points he looked probably insane and they were like yo we gotta get this guy in here and then he came in here and just averaged 16 points for 62 million dollars two years and he's a 77 overall he's 35 years old man let him retire why is he here why oh my god i'm sorry i'm just i'm just tired right now i can't believe this team is gonna get ruined by demar derozan so this is their third year will they make the playoffs this is the year that they should definitely make it i'm gonna tell you that let's go look at their lineup what they're gonna be rolling out scoo henderson at the one of course jordan pool 29 minutes at the two herbert jones with 29 at the three john stewart he's gonna be our four victor 39 minutes of course and then osman Dieng with 21 let's go and simulate the season hopefully we make the playoffs this year it's starting off good okay never mind i'll see you guys at the end of the season hey as you can see we got two all-stars we have victor Wembanyama and demar the rosen <laughs>
Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Nah, just kidding. We have Scoot Henderson at the reserves for LaMelo Ball team. And uh, that's cool. We got two all-stars. Let's keep going and uh, finish the season. We're not too bad this season. We're doing pretty good. LaMelo Ball is your MVP with 31, 16, 6, and 2. And we had 43 wins and 39 losses. So not the best season, but I'm pretty sure we're making the playoffs with that season. Of course, we got Victor there. Let's look at the stats 24 points 14 rebounds five assists one steal and 3.5 blocks all right so a little bit less but how is this not defensive player of the year numbers i don't understand after he won his rookie year and now he can't win it it's cool though you know there's still more time for that he averaged 49 and 38 with 81 percentage so his free throw and his field goal went up but his three pointer went down but that's probably because he's shooting way more threes now so victor did not make the all defensive team nah no fucking no way is this better than than victor's numbers i don't understand yo 2k you need a you need a fixer system i'm gonna tell you that for sure but all right you know it's cool we'll get it next time you know we got all in first team that's cool with us and we are the sixth seed so we're gonna be looking at these playoffs we're going against the dallas mavericks let's go look at our player stats for the season so i know this is really a victor career simulation but wow look at these stats and he did not make it all nba he, he should have been most improved player honestly look at this 25 points five rebounds eight assists 1.2 steals on 50 40 90 uh the rest of the team is looking pretty decent yeah osman diang he's definitely gonna be starting for us next year i'll make him like the actual power forward so he can start for us Let's see who we're going against in the Dallas Mavericks here. Luka Doncic, Jalen Hardy, Dylan Brooks, and Jalen Smith and Xavier Booker ending off the rotation. So our team is better, but they do have Luka Doncic, which is kind of scary. Get ready. Nine minutes left of this kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm jacking that our team is for sure better than theirs, and we should win the series. We should win. I'm not going to lie. Let's just simulate round, and if it gets... Okay, we're we're down 2-0 right now. Yeah, we're going to be down 3-0 right now. The inexperience is really showing here in the playoffs. Oh, uh, it's close. 130 left. Let's jump in and see what happens. We're jumping in right here. We got Scoot with the ball. See what he does with it. Tries to get past Luka. Does he make the layup? He doesn't, but he gets a rebound. We're lagging, and he makes a layup right over Luka. Luka has the ball. See if Scoot could defend him good. He's on him, but Luka's getting right past him. He's going to shoot the mid-range shot, and it goes in. 122 to 120. Come on, we need some better defense. Victor is not out on the floor right now. Let's see what O'Shea does. He shoots a bad mid-range shot. He's waiting to come in, and yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know what? This is my team, right? I'm going to come in, call a timeout, because this team is crazy. I don't know what they're doing. Let's get Victor on the floor. Scoot's gonna try to get past Luca. He's doing some crossovers. Spin move, layup, and it goes in. And they're set. They didn't need a stop though. Come on, Osman Dieng. No! Luca, why are you so good at this game? <laughs> Ronnie, please fix Luca. He's too OP, man. Oh, Scoot did not pass out of that. And he goes for a contested layup and he misses. That's going to be it. Uh, yeah, there's no way we're going to win this game. I think I'm going to just simulate to end. I'll see you guys in the next season. Oh, man, this team needs to get better. Next year, for sure, we're going to... Hopefully, we make the conference, like, semifinals at least, you know? But we got swept by Luka Doncic, and that's it. That's his team. It's just him. <laughs> All right, going into player progression, we have Victor at a 93 overall. Scoot is also a 93 overall. So, like I said, they just keep following each other in sync with overalls. We got two 93 overalls now. They both have around the same badges too, 25 to 26. All right, yeah, this is cool to see. We got Jordan Poole. He got a, oh man, he got a big contract. All right, I'm just hoping that does not affect Victor and Scoot because that is going to be really bad for us if we cannot get them signed up because we still have Kyle Kuzma's contract. We have some bad contracts here. I'm not going to lie. We got this dude, three years, 39 million. I have no idea why. Oh man, these are some bad contracts. I hope they make some trades in the season. So looking at our lineup, we got, you know, 38 minutes for Scoot. Bryce George, we have with uh, 28 minutes here. Where's Jordan Poole? What? What is this team doing, man? Nah, they're bugging out. Let's put Jordan Poole over here. Victor, 30 and this is our bench lineup now let's simulate the season hopefully we have a better season this year and we're starting off pretty good so i'll see you guys at the end of the season all right so i accidentally skipped the awards i was trying to i don't know i was trying to cancel out to see um if victor was still injured victor actually makes the all-nba first team with 
this injury i don't how many games did he play he only played 62 games and made all nba first team that's pretty impressive um where is scoo henderson okay i was about to say yo they're really hating on scoo because this is a great season like he should for sure be like he almost got a double double with 27 points and nine assists there's no way he does not make uh all nba team but he does make one he makes all nba third team we are the sixth seed again and we're going against new orleans this time so another dominant player on their team in zion and they also have brandon ingram this should be a better team well i don't know if they still have those two players i'm not gonna lie yeah victor is still injured and this team does still have zion but it does not have brandon ingram we need scoot to step up here and like help us go to the next round for sure we're up 2-0 right now 2-1 i'm gonna simulate round 3-1 4-1 and we are in the next round i think yeah victor is back now let's see victor he's starting let's change up the lineup damn herb jones is injured as well uh let me make sure this is on automatics all right we're going against the los angeles lakers they have davion mitchell and anthony davis like jante murray also but come on i mean i don't know they got poku poku might, might whoop us i'm not gonna lie poku is looking a little dangerous there uh, i think victor and scoot definitely got this uh let me not jinx it though we're not too far off in seeding um yeah we won 4-1 and we are going against the, the what is this san antonio spurs and they had a game seven and we had a pretty easy series two series so far so you know we might we might win this just based off of fatigue maybe injuries something like that they have pascal siakam and desmond bain this is the team that is what is this team the fifth seed i mean all right you know that makes sense a little yeah i mean this isn't that bad of a team but i think our team is better for sure let's simulate game first all right we won the first game let's simulate round and we ended up sweeping them the orlando magic also swept the team and we're in the finals uh i expected like conference finals last year but i know i said semi-finals but i kind of expect the finals but we ended up going to the finals so that's sick to see and we are going against paolo i'm guessing let's see cole anthony jalen sucks Paolo Benchero and Onyeka Okongwu. So it's a pretty decent team, not gonna lie, but I think our team's got it. We're gonna simulate game here. They won the first game. We're gonna simulate with some cast because I wanna jump into one of these games. You know, it's our first finals, you know. If we make the finals a bunch of times, I'm probably not gonna go into them, but this is our first finals. And oh no, nah, we are going out sad. I'm gonna have to change up the lineup for something after this because there's no way we're gonna go out this sad. Okay, third game, we're coming back. And it looks like the third game is a win. Go look at this. Victor with 35, 22, and 4. He does not want to go out. Goot with 29, 2, and 8. Yeah, look at this guy. Yo, Sean Stewart. What a game from him. He does not average that much, but hey, he went off this game. That's great to see. Orlando Magic, they had a good uh, game also. Oh, Nick Smith Jr. is on their team. All right, so we're going against one of our draft mates, you know? We got to beat this guy because we're going to look pretty bad. First and second overall pick Lucid, this guy. And it looks like we're going to win this game as well. So that's 2-2 two, two right now. We're tied. Oh, I forgot to check the box score. Um, That's fine. We'll check it after. And close game so far. We had the early lead, but the magic came back. And it looks like they're going to take this game. Um, 3-2 now. Oh, man. Oh, this is... This is uh nerve wracking. We need to win this game. Come on, we gotta we gotta win this finals. First finals and we win it. That'll be sick to see. Come on, it's a close game and we won it. All right, so three three. We're tied. Game seven. Victor with 35, 11, and seven. Scoo Henderson 25, four and eight. Ooh, all right. This is uh this is some serious game right here. Come on, we gotta win this. No, no, come on. It's close, it's close. Oh man, this is such a close game. No one wants to lose this. Paolo is going crazy, I'm, I bet you. Oh man. Yo, it keeps going back and forth. 137 left. Let's go a little bit. 129. Let's jump in. 129 to 128. Oh man. This is a close game. I'm I'm nervous, you know. I want to win this game. So I see they don't have their starters out. Ah, oh, Victor's there though, at least. So we got Jordan Poole and Victor. That's not too bad. See what Jordan Poole does. He passes it to Victor. Victor goes straight up with it. He gets a rebound. He goes back up and he makes it. A little nervous. Victor has the ball. Oh, we stole the ball. George stole the ball and he passes it to Jordan Poole. Let's see if he doesn't alley oop to anyone. Ah, there was like two people there and he just goes up with it. And we got a foul. Hey, we might win this. Our first championship on our first finals run. Oh, let's go. All right. Starters are coming in. Oh, where's Scoot? Oh, nah. Is Scoot injured or fouled out? What's going on? Where's Scoot? He fouled out. Oh, man. We got to win this for Scoot. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure Victor's going to get the finals MVP now then. There's no way Victor doesn't get it. But Jordan Poole makes his second free throw. Still have a three-point lead. But, I mean, it can easily change. Jordan Poole, he's got the ISO. Trying to get past Jalen Suggs. Passes it out to George. George shoots some mid-range and he makes it. 
George is clutch. He got the steal and a mid-range shot. Yo, whoever that guy is, I'm going to force him to start next season. I don't know who this guy is, but what a freaking finals ending right there for us. Come on, Paolo Ventura with the... No, he makes the fadeaway shot. I knew he was going to make that, bro. I was hoping they would play better defense, but we're still up three. Jordan Poole with the ball. 24 seconds left. 22 seconds left. Jordan Poole. Isos. Tries to get past him. Come on. Pass it to Victor. Victor, you got this. This is a little guy. Just shoot it. Just shoot it, Victor. Let's go. And one layup. Jalen sucks. Fouls out. And Victor is going to the line. Oh, wow. We won this. We won the championship. Let's go. Come on, Victor. Make that in. Victor's clutch. And the Utah Jazz are your champions of the season. We got to... We got a ring for uh, Scoot and Victor. Finals MVP, of course, is Victor Wembanyama. What a great season. And they're they're just going to get their contract, their official contracts right now. They're like, you know, like super extensions. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Utah Jazz are the champions. Victor with 29.6. So 30 points per game. 14 rebounds, 5 assists, 0.6 steals, and 2 blocks. So this is great to see because I'm for sure expecting them to jump up an insane amount next year. Both of them, Victor and Scoot, are probably for sure going to be like maybe like 95 overalls. I don't know. Maybe even higher hopefully because that's gonna be fun to see but we need them to sign this contract Lamar DeRozan retired and he's uh he was in the hall of fame if you're if you're in still watching comment down below Lamar LaRozan because he was an L for us let's see what team he finished off on so he finished off with us and I guess our we just like let him go because yeah we haven't seen him in a minute Lamar DeRozan did he win a ring actually nah, no way right yeah he was not with us damn all right you know I kind of feel bad I wish he stayed with us like one more year because he would have gotten a ring at least for his resume but he does make the hall of fame still so I mean that's cause, cool to see you know we don't want to go on someone's downfall like that all right guys I'm a little nervous because the 76ers are Victor's number one option and I don't think he's loyal so that's not gonna be good um yeah let's hope that we end up getting him still i hope so no, okay. Okay. oh man everyone wants victor i mean look at this contract he's getting he's just i mean he's interested in all of these so 100 so that means he could just pick us honestly and i think we can match whatever deal we have on him let's see let's see who we select is prepared to accept an offer at 76ers and we end up matching it uh damn herbert jones is getting paid bro we have to let him go that's not good to see but we need to get scoot still like for sure so agrees to our contract scoot also if they match it they match it going to player progression uh they did not really go up uh scoot went up though he's a 94 overall now uh jordan Poole, he's an 84 bryce george he went up two overall so hopefully when the season starts like victor goes up as well to 94 because i think it's because he was injured he didn't go up too much let's go to the start of the next season and i'll see you guys there so for some reason we all went down one overall like i don't know what's going on they're all like upset even though we just won the championship ring i don't know if we lost someone jordan Poole, why do they not want jordan Poole? to start i mean this guy had a great uh little run i might make him the small forward then but jordan pull as shooting guard yeah let's go do that i mean josh Hart, he's cool and whatever you know but this guy is definitely like he's gonna be our small forward like for the future and he goes up and overall that's like cool to see so let's put his secondary position as well rice george man he was really clutch for us in the finals so you know he deserves it for sure let's see what the lineup is now jordan pull all right yeah this team is looking pretty juicy hey yo what the fuck all right this team is looking pretty good not gonna lie so josh hart you know i feel bad he's not gonna even get any minutes had a great season let's simulate the season once it starts going like you know we start losing some more and we don't end up going to the finals like that i'm gonna probably be skipping those seasons so you're gonna mostly see seasons we're going to the finals because this is gonna be a long career simulation that's for sure at the end of the season we ended up getting 50 wins and 32 losses yeah i was like damn bro they needed only two wins and they lost like four in a row at the end to just get 50 but we ended up getting it at the very end 50 wins Luka Doncic was your MVP with 28 points 9 rebounds 14 assists 1.3 steals and 0.4 blocks so Luka finally got his MVP again like he got it he beat Trey Young DJ Wagner 6th man of the year with 20 
five and six that's a great season defensive player of the year Giannis I'm getting so tired of Giannis how is how is Victor not the defensive player of the year 16. you're not that guy pal trust me you're not that guy I gotta look at his stats man all NBA first team there's no Victor here wow all right all NBA second team Scoot and Victor both make it yeah they kind of had like a little fallout year I don't know what happened but all NBA third team looks like this we're gonna look at the stats right now defensive first team and defensive second team so we are the fourth seed that's cool to see we at we went up and we're going against the portland trailblazers let's go look at our stats so looking at our stats we did end up going a little bit lower in like just like per game averages uh our points per game went down a bit our rebounds and assist also went down a bit and our efficiency even went down a, a little bit just in the three-pointer so we technically had a worse season but if we win the ring again it's gonna be a pretty good season so like yo we're averaging like good four blocks last season three blocks this season last season we didn't even make the all defensive first team i'm pretty sure or second team like how are we not getting the dpoy but you know whatever eventually our time will come that's for sure because Giannis is getting older we're gonna get that epoy hopefully next year maybe i don't know but uh yeah even school henderson he went down but his assist per game went up in insane amount he's averaging a double double on 50 40 almost 90 so oh we ended up getting jalen duran how did that happen okay so i might put jalen at the at the power forward so that's why points per game went down that makes sense and let's see what's his three-pointer uh, he hasn't like no three-pointer but like but let's see what his actual status because if he could shoot threes i'm just gonna change it and let him shoot threes Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Oh my god. All right, he cannot shoot threes in this game. Uh, in real life i saw him shoot threes but not in this game he has a 30 three-pointer what the hell uh victor what is he let's make him the power forward this is gonna be a 7-4 power forward out here yo our team is gonna dominate let's see let's put him at power forward center back up we'll put a small forward i guess i don't know all right so he's gonna be our center there's no way we don't win the i don't think there's there's a way we don't win this championship right now because we got victor at power forward who's gonna stop him like who gonna stop me I will. Who's going to stop me? I will. If we the last two people on earth, who going to stop me? Giannis? I haven't seen him make the finals in like ever, bro. He's not even in the playoffs. Unless he's like in a different team. Yeah, I don't think. I think this team is too OP for them. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's 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 uh, simulate the round. I think we're going to win this in a sweep. Not a sweep, but it is a gentleman sweep. And we are going against OKC Thunder. This is the first seed, so this is going to be kind of tough. Damn, should I make Victor guard Jalen Durant? I'm going to change that up for them. Let's change that real quick. All right, and we're coming into this game going against... Shea Gilgis Alexander, Josh Giddy, Seth Cardinal, Marcus Reed, and Chet Holmgren. This is a this is a good team. <laughs> I'm uh I don't know if we're gonna win this. I'm not gonna lie, but I mean our team's really good too. We have Victor and Scoot, so yeah. I mean I had a uh, I put Victor guarding um Chet, so hopefully that helps us out. And let's see, first game they win the first game. Let's simulate with some cast because it's gonna be a tough series. Hey, this game is looking like it's gonna be OKC's way, and uh, yep, OKC win the second game. And Durin got injured. All right, uh, should we have what does this guy have? Oh, he has a 92 three. All right, I got an idea. You know put uh victor back at the center position he's a 96 overall now sick all right uh power forward small forward let's do that and then we're gonna put this guy yeah, this is the guy right we're gonna put him at uh power forward and this guy is gonna be our power forward for this uh this and hopefully this helps us out right now we're down 2-0 right now we we've been down 2-0 before and we ended up winning but this is a different story this team is really good close but yeah i'm pretty sure they're gonna win this yeah they won that one we're down 3-0 i think that's it for us let's simulate the game hopefully we get at least one win come on just one win it's not looking good for us i'm gonna tell you that and we're losing we got swept the champions get swept by the okc thunder that team is just so op oh man that sucks yeah they're sweeping everybody okay see thunder chet holmgren he wins finals mvp the other demigod ends up winning finals mvp once the season start getting slower because we're on our like fifth season now let's start getting a little slower i'm gonna be skipping a couple of them so if you guys don't see, like i don't know i'll skip to when we end up getting good again or we're close to like finals going into player progression victor wembanyama is now a 96 overall and so is scoot henderson so uh there was like a little glitch and for some reason i guess he didn't sign his contract last year and they just made him sign a five-year now like five years 223 million so there's a chance we might not have victor on our team um 
on this team by the time uh, his contract is up because that's a lot of money and we have Bryce George at small forward which is not good because uh, we need to pay this guy and he's an 84 overall Jordan Poole he's our shooting guard he's still there we have him for three more years we have this guy Peja he's our backup point guard yeah that's it I guess okay so uh, we skipped last year because we ended up like going into the play-in tournament we had a terrible season I think Victor was injured the whole season at like maybe like 30 games played but this season we come back he came back strong because he is now the MVP of the of the year you know he has we had 58 wins and 24 losses and he had 29 points 13 rebounds six assists 1.4 steals 3.3 blocks on 50 40 88 and like now like we gotta really see if if, if this game is rigged he's not winning dpoy but let's see six minute of the year dj wagner what huh sweet whoa that's why this team is so good when did we get dj wagner on the utah jazz yo and victor Wembayama, defensive player of the year let's go all right finally bro finally he gets the dpoy again that's awesome to see victor of course all nba first team i was hoping to see scoot here but he does not make the all nba second team either and he doesn't make the all nba third team yeah they're doing my guy scoot dirty um i guess the shine is just all on victor but scoot for sure probably has like almost a very similar season and just never gets the respect to look at his uh, stats right now looking at the player stats okay so you know not the best season for scoot he definitely took the back seat for victor i i guess he wants him to win the mvp this year he's a 96 overall and victor is also 97 overall that's crazy all right yeah these guys are these guys are something but the problem is that victor only has like one year after this year is up and uh i mean we got bryce he ended up signing with us too so i mean this guy's an insane defender i was looking at his uh stats he has like crazy perimeter d and he has good efficiency so i'm glad they signed this guy jordan Poole's injured and so is dj wagner the new orleans pelicans let's see who we have on our team so we we, we have everyone starting still anyways and this team has tyrese maxi and zion williamson okay oh and kwame evans all right this is a pretty good team but i'm pretty sure you guys know what i think should happen Happen. okay we lost the first game uh we won the next three and oh shoot we went all the way to game seven yo what is the utah jazz doing bro we went to game seven with that team is like team injured what's going on uh yeah come on guys you guys need to step it up i don't know what was that we're going against the los angeles lakers now let's see who's on this team Kendall brown is a 96 overall what happened was he like on this team by himself just like shooting and like making buckets what he's a 96 overall nigga when my name come up respect it let's go stop playing with my fucking name say it no more i don't think i've seen that for um because he's like a i think normally like a 70 overall or 69 overall player he's a 96 now he must have a crazy potential. I'm going to remember this when I do another rebuild to get Kendall Brown. Uh, Mikael Bridges and Davion Mitchell. This team is pretty decent, but I think we should win this. Okay, another game seven. Yo, what is going on with our team? All right, now this team is this team is trouble right here. But like overall wise, they probably have a better overall team. But like I said, I, th I think we should be winning this also. And we ended up sweeping them. So the, the team that had the best like overall team, we ended up sweeping. And now we're going against the Bulls. They are the seventh seed. Okay. Okay, bro, no way. No way we lose this to this team right now. If we lose to this team, uh, they're just the luckiest team in the world, I guess. I, I don't know what, what else to say because this is the worst team I've ever seen in the finals. And knowing 2K, we might lose to them. Let's simulate the round and we end up sweeping them. Nice. Victor is a finals MVP again. So two finals MVPs for Victor at the age of 26 already. So he's so far having a phenomenal career. He's 2-0 in the finals. I saw, that's what I could say too, 2-0. All right, looking at player progression, somehow Victor goes down one overall. I mean, if you look at the right corner, he's still a 97. Scoot, he's a 96 and he's going down. I don't understand because like these guys are like entering their prime and they're going down in overall. Like, come on, you know, 2K, what's going on here? No one else really goes up. We got like a couple guys. We have this Rudy Gobert guy. He's, he's insane, bro. He has a, he's shooting threes. He's not Rudy Gobert he's better than rudy gobert this guy is really good yeah he's an 85 392 yo this guy might be our power forward i don't know i mean him off the bench is pretty good because then we could get you know more points per game for victor and scoot so i'm fine with that we got jordan Poole going down john stewart going down uh up and we got Nikola Jovic on our team. He is going down two overall, though. All right, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. I, I, 
I ended up overriding Kawhi's retirement because Kawhi is one of my favorite players, you know, and he's a 68 overall and I really wanted to get him a ring and I'm I'm just guessing that our team is going to go on a run from now on. I feel like we're going to win like maybe at least two more championships right now because uh, this is what this is. Yeah, Victor's last year of the contract. So I'm sure he's going to try to like go all out and try to get a, another ring, maybe a defensive player of the year, MVP, something like that. And uh, Scoo, he's probably going to improve. Also, I'm going to be real, even though he didn't go up in overall. So I'm I'm hoping that we get another ring so I could give Kawhi one more ring before he retires. Um, yeah, I had to tell you guys the truth. But let's go on to the season. Let's see what happens. I'll see you guys in the playoffs. At the end of the season, we have another MVP for Victor Wembanyama. And we have 55 wins and 27 losses. Not our best season, but we have another MVP for Victor. So that's cool to see. Let's see if he gets DPOY as well. DPOY is Victor. I told you guys, our time is coming because Giannis is going to retire soon. All of these guys are getting old. And yeah, well, there we go. Two, two years in a row, we got MVP and DPOY. So I, I forgot to mention this also, but Victor does make make the list of one of the only players to win MVP, DPOY, and the championship in the same year. Hopefully we can make it two times and I don't think too many people, I don't think anyone really has done that. Maybe, maybe Hakeem Elijah won, but oh shoot, Victor's injured. So that's why we were doing bad at the end. But Scoot, Scoot made the All-NBA first team. I love to see that. Finally, they show him some respect. So we are the one seed but Victor is injured. I, I don't know if he's still playing. Yeah, he's not playing right now. Oh shoot, our power forward got injured also? Or is he starting as center for us right now? Uh, there's a chance we lose this, I'm not gonna lie. Let's simulate the round and we end up sweeping them. That's cool, all right. And we're going into Houston Rockets. It had a tough game. See, Victor's all good. Okay, and our power forward is back as well. So we have Sadiq Bey. Yo, like, the, <laughs> what? We keep getting these random players. Oh, we lost DJ Wagner. So DJ Wagner came through, got a ring and dipped. Uh, but we have Sadiq Bey now, and we're going against the Houston Rockets. They have, I'm guessing, Jalen Green. So, no, they don't. They actually have Jaden Ivey and a bunch of auto-generated players. So, that's interesting. I wonder where they ended up going. Because Shabar Smith, Jalen Green, and Alperen Shengun. We end up losing! In the second round no Kawhi, no oh my god i thought this was gonna be easy but we ended up losing to the freaking houston rockets so Jaden ivy just beat us that's it and he's gonna end up losing to lakers this game is just ridiculous oh my god kendo fucking brown kendo brown is the greatest player in the league bro this is ridiculous say it no mo Yo, I think, I think Kawhi stuck around because not in the Hall of Fame. No way they would disrespect Kawhi like that, right? Yo, Kawhi is still here. Yo, okay, we can't lose this year. Come on, let me get Kawhi again. There's no way we lose. Come on, we gotta win this year. Kawhi stayed. He said, yo, I need this ring. Please help me out here. All right, we got you, Kawhi. We could have gotten him two rings. Damn it, bro. We lost to the freaking Houston Rockets. We only have Jaden Ivey. Come on, we gotta give Kawhi at least a ring. Look at him right there. He's on the corner. In player progression, Victor is a 90 overall he went up one scoot 97 this might be like honestly the max victor is gonna go because i think his prime is like you know how the peak start happens i'm pretty sure his is like 27 26 so this honestly might be the max he goes and scoot henderson as well so you know now is our peak so we gotta win this okay at the end of the season victor averaged 31 points 14 rebounds 5.5 assists 1.6 steals and 3.3 blocks on 50 40 95 but we did have a not too good season we had 48 wins 34 losses i think the reason why he mostly got mvp was because school was injured for a majority of it so he was kind of like the only scorer and dpoy is victor again okay so hopefully this time we get the championship trophy but it's gonna be really hard because you're not that good i'm not gonna lie but we did make first team of course uh second team school henderson made it so maybe he wasn't away for that long let's simulate the play in and uh we are the four seed so let's go look at our stats real quick look Looking at our player stats, of course, uh, Victor 31 points, Scoot 24 points, and then uh, Petrog Thomas Tomsevich, he's averaging 19 points now. Jordan Poole 13, he's not really like he's kind of like you know going down a bit uh vic randolph was our um i don't know fifth leading scorer and he has 11 points bryce george not too good but that's right he plays defense for us the Kawhi ended up getting some points we're going against the uh, phoenix suns they have Devin booker he's still here oj ananobi and kalal Ware. he's another guy from our draft he's an 87 overall so hopefully we win this and we won the first game two three oh four oh okay we ended up sweeping them and yes let's go we're going against the los angeles lakers and not the okc thunder oh my god the the thunder really just lost bro to kendall brown is the greatest player of all time i don't understand this guy now say my name 
This guy is insane. 94 overall now, and he's literally on this team by himself. Like, I don't even think Victor could do this by himself. Like, I don't understand. This guy is insane. Uh, we won the first game. Hopefully, we just win 2 1. We ended up winning in uh, six. And now we're going against the LA Clippers. It's, they have the, the insane rookie, right? So, okay, they have that good rookie. Yeah, this team's pretty good. Uh, it's a great overall team. I could see them beating us. I can also see us winning because we do have the two best players, maybe in the league, honestly. We're up 3 0. And let's see if we swept them. We ended up sweeping them. We're in the finals. Come on, we got to win this for Kawhi. Trey Young. And that's it, bro. Okay, Mac Ward or whatever, bro. Like, come on, man. There's no way he's going to stop Victor. Victor, you got to win this for us. Ooh, what? We're down one already? All right, we're simulating with some cats. Come on, 2K, please. Do your um, do justice to your game. What is this? What is going on? How are we losing to the Atlanta Hawks? How is this possible? Oh, my God. No freaking way we're gonna lose to Atlanta Hawks. Yo, 2K, what is what is this? 2K, are you out of your mind? What is this game, bro? Well, well, well. How the turntables... Let's simulate with some cast. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully we don't lose. We're already down. A close game, but how is this a close game? Like, can someone explain to me how this team is making it close? What? 124 to 125. 30 seconds left. Oh my God, 2K, you're you're you got to be kidding me, 2K. Passing it to Victor. Let's see what he does. He does a pump fake. Tries to get past this guy. Come on, he's bigger than this guy. Let's go. Layup goes in. 23 <laughs> seconds left. We're up one. Don't let this guy get past you. Good defense. Oh, man. Oh, let's go. Point guard has it. And this should be over. Let's see. First free throw goes in. Just, just need to make the second one. Okay, we made the second one. Chance to get it. But hopefully we play some good defense. Come on, that's good defense. Let's go. Good rebound. And we end up winning this game. George gets fouled. Well, I mean, I don't know if we won the game. But, I mean, 0.7 seconds left. Two free throws. Oh, he has the granny free throws. Yo, this guy, bro. This is, the, this is the next Kawhi right here. But with granny free throws, we end up winning a game, thankfully. 3-1. Hopefully, um, our 2K22 good luck comes back. And we end up coming back from a 3-0 deficit. It's happened before in 2K22. I'll tell you guys that. Uh, but hopefully, we come back. If you guys want to see that rebuild, it'll be in the description. You guys can see that too. All right, we're 3-1. Let's see if we could come back. Come on, 3-1. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Come on, Victor. We can't have you choke this. This Your, your team is just so much better, bro. They're going to... It's This is going to be like the Miami Heat versus the Dallas Mavericks all over again. We can't have that happen. Come on. Let's go. We won two games. Okay, we're down 3-2. We need basketball Jesus to come down and save us because we're low and... I mean, we're winning right now. Oh my God. There's no way this team is losing. I don't understand. Overtime. I almost skipped it. Let me... Slow it down. Okay, one minute left. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. 127 to 134. Thank you. Scoo Henderson, thank you for 36, 9, and 14. Thank you, Victor, for 36, 10, and 6. Oh, Jesus, like, I don't... How much more does this team need? Like, look at this. We have a 99 overall, a 98 overall, an 87, an 86, an 86, an 84. And look who we're losing to right now. What? <laughs> what is 2k on bro there's no way this makes any sense to anyone oh all right let's see this is our last game we need to win this come on let's go don't choke utah we came back all the way and it looks like we're gonna win oh let's go all right yeah we're winning this let's go utah jazz victor another ring 34 15 7 1 and 4.4 blocks on 50 45 jesus how did it take this long we like we swept almost everyone on our conference. I mean, they swept their, their guys too, but damn, what, how is this team so good? Like, what? Who is on this team? Bro, Trey Young was injured, and we still almost lost to this team. Let's go on. I'll see you guys in the next season. Um, If we go to the championship, I'm going to be skipping a couple of them from now on because, uh, yeah, I've been recording for a long time, and I'm going to skip some. I think he's like, what, 28, 29 now? Go play retirements. There we go. Kawhi retires with one more ring. Let's see. Three championships. He loves to see that. Hall of Fame. Of course, Kawhi makes it. It's time to, like, you know, simulate a little bit of it and just see what goes 
on throughout his season. We have another MVP for Victor. 25 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 2.8 blocks, and 1.3 steals. He had 60 wins, 22 losses, so another 60 win dominant season, but... I don't know, uh, Victor is definitely slowing down for sure. E-P-O-Y is Victor again. That's nice to see. We uh, three-peated in uh, getting MVP and D-P-O-Y, I'm pretty sure, with Victor. Let's check that out again just to make sure uh yeah we three-peated so well actually four seasons in a row we ended up getting MVP and we ended up getting DPOY four seasons in a row so that's what I'm talking about that's why he's the MVP that's why he's the GOAT the GOAT Goo Henderson all NBA second team all right so next year it looks like we have a chance to repeat again as champions this will be our first repeats if we do end up winning um there's a chance we don't you know of course uh team doesn't look too good honestly we do have two almost 99 overalls so let's see if we end up winning uh what is it three oh four one and we ended up winning in five Victor Wembanyama is your MVP, Finals MVP. So we ended up repeating two championships in a row now. So looking at player progression, Scoot Henderson is still a 99 overall, and Victor is a 96. So there's a chance that uh, Scoot's gonna finally get his first MVP if we do good this season. At the end of the season, MVP is Victor again. 60 wins, 22 losses. So yeah, he, he gets a couple more championships. He's for sure the goat. Uh, five MVPs and uh six dpois that's crazy all right so that means he got another dpoy this year too so 26 12 6 1.3 and 2.4 blocks dpoy is victor again luke wallace coach of the year of course so it looks like we can't really get past 60 wins uh scoot henderson was injured for the majority of the season so i knew he wasn't gonna wow look at these stats imagine not getting mvp when you average 32 points 12 assists and six rebounds I would be pretty upset if I was Scoot. Um, there's a chance he leaves, I'm not gonna lie. Played 73 games, and I think Victor played all of his games. So, I mean, played all 80. Yeah, he played all 82. So, he was there for sure the whole time. And we have another um, All NBA team member, Edrock. Okay, so that's cool. We have two, three. This is the first time we've had that so far in the simulation. And yeah, no one else it has made it 32 points 26 for victor um yeah just like i expected we do have a couple injuries rice george he ends up getting injured a lot so he's out for the season that sucks there's a chance we don't win um i'm gonna be just simulating playoffs really if we don't win we lose it's fine um yeah i think we're gonna lose to the minnesota oh, we came back um cool so we're going against the lakers simulate round again uh close game we ended up losing to the lakers so i looked at victor's peak start and peak end and his was at peak start 19 and his peak end was 22 or no his peak end was like 20 so you know that's why he's been going down in overall so much recently it's because his peak was completely messed up i changed it to 26 34 because that's what it's, it's supposed to be like 33 34 for him because I'm, I'm the one that did this draft right so that's what his peak end and peak start was supposed to be at the end of the season we ended up coming back we had a terrible start of the season we only have 49 wins but scoo henderson finally gets an mvp it's i'm happy to see this for him you know i might make this honestly just a dual career sim because i mean we got both of them right so i could just make this a dual career sim video let's be real here and go henderson with 35 6 and 12 1.4 steals and 0.1 blocks on 50 40 90 Endo Brown, Defensive Player of the Year? What? <laughs> Yo, this guy, he's just so good. I don't understand. So, yeah, look at this season. 35, 5, and 12. Wow. What a season for Scoot Henderson. He, of course, makes All-NBA first team. All-NBA second team looks like this. I guess uh, Victor got injured. Yeah, he didn't make any All-NBA team. We do have Pedrog making the All-NBA second team. He's also injured. Uh, oh, yeah, he did. Okay, 44 games only. But he's good to go right now. So, um, this should be a good series simulate this let's simulate the round against the houston rockets we lose we lose yeah we're gonna get swept all right we lost we lost in six that's fine we'll see you guys i'll see you guys next time all right going to player progression and victor is now a 98 overall and school henderson goes down oh he just had 35 points i don't understand so this guy just so scoot has his best season so far to date right and he goes down to overall for having his best season. Both of them are 31. It makes kind of sense. So I, I love to see that, you know, from rivals before to who's going to be the first war pick to now being teammates in the Utah Jazz. I can't believe the Utah Jazz. I still cannot believe that they, they got both picks and... 
now they've been together for like 10 years together yeah they've been together for 12 years actually they both had great careers so far um i don't think they're gonna leave each other i think they're gonna be on the same team their whole careers i'm not gonna lie because uh victor was actually close to leaving but he ended up re-signing again so he has another three-year contract uh school henderson has a two-year contract there's a chance maybe at the like twilight of their careers they end up leaving so originally this was supposed to just be a victor Wembanyama rebuild and uh we ended up getting school henderson also on this team we've been together the whole career so i'm gonna end up making this title i think originally the title was gonna be like victor Wembanyama career simulation but we're gonna change it it's gonna be a victor Wembanyama and a school henderson career simulation so even if they end up breaking off their team you know thing i'm gonna follow scoop i'll see where he goes and see how he does in his last years and same for victor if they end up leaving either one it wouldn't really make sense for me to do another career simulation when i pretty much just did the same thing for scoot already when because you know they've been on the same team their whole career so at the end of the season victor gets his mvp once again 51 wins 31 losses he had 25 points 13 rebounds 6 assists 1.5 steals and 3.3 blocks per game victor dpoy again so every time he's gotten the mvp he has gotten defensive player of the year as well first team is has D uh pedrock also in it and wow they did not um have scoot here okay scoot is all in base second team that's cool so we are the second seed Let's look at our stats real quick this is probably one of our like final like really like like i guess best years we're gonna have because uh we are starting to get older i think after this season we're both gonna be they're both gonna be 32 years old you know so uh right now scoot is 32 and victor's gonna turn 32 as this season ends pedrock is also 28 he's gonna start probably regressing as well uh, we have Dyson Daniels on our team, so he's probably our shooting guard. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what we do in the first round going against um, OKC. So OKC definitely got way worse. They lost all their main players. I'm surprised by that. And hopefully we win this. Oh my God, we're down three two, three two right now. Let's simulate with some cast. Come on, Utah. No way you're gonna go down bad like this. You know what? Yo, I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump in if i win this i win it all right how about that because this is gonna be like the last time i could even play with these guys i want to try them out a bit they're all old 102 to 113 if i come back i feel like it's a fair win because we're down uh 11 points right now and i don't know any of their jump shots i'm i'm like okay at the game i'm not the best we ended up losing i don't really need to to show anything anymore 121 to 130 we're gonna lose this i'm a sim to end utah jazz eliminated All right, that was probably our final good year. Going to player progression, it looks like Victor is a 96. That definitely was um, their best year together, I think it's gonna be. And yeah, everyone seems to be going down a bit. Not too good. Scoot, he stays the same. So I was gonna skip this season, but we're really close in the finals right now. We're up 2-2. Two, two. Let's uh, simulate with some casts. It's 2-2 two, two right now. Let's see if we can win this series. So far, it does not look like we will. Yeah, 3-2 now. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we come back close game. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna win this. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was silent because I'm just nervous right now. I don't think, I don't know if we're gonna win. Super close. Yeah, they're coming back. Okay, we're up a bit. All right, we ended up winning that. That was a close one. Oh my God. All right, so we're tied 3-3 now. Let's see what happens. Tied 3-3, game seven. Hey, we're doing good. Yeah, we end up we end up doing pretty good in game sevens, I guess. So we ended up winning that, of course. We have another ring now. I think we might have six rings. And if we do, Victor, uh, finals MVP again. I want to see if we uh, ended up buying MJ. Let's see right now. Board history, six MVPs, five championships. Okay, so we did not tie MJ. We still are missing one championship trophy but we're still five and oh we didn't three-peat any of that we two-peated only and we ended up winning another ring we uh just beat the bucket bucks q henderson finally gets his first finals mvp so uh we are six and oh now all of us and i didn't expect this i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i was i'm just trying to simulate this as fast as i can because i'm getting 100 percent tired because i've been sim like simulating and recording for over like five hours and i'm getting tired man <laughs> i'm gonna tell you the truth I, um sadly it is uh finally time for the downfall of uh well, not really downfall they're gonna 
you know age pretty good honestly because technically they're still 97 overalls but right here it says they're 95 overalls Pedrick, he's also going down so this team is probably going to be really bad because we've never had honestly a player better than uh, like an 86 or 87 play with us and it's really kind of disappointing how bad this team kind of is because like it's just disappointing i expected the team to try to help um two superstars out more but uh it looks like they've been just constantly giving them not really like good third string he was our best third player besides jordan Poole, but jordan Poole kind of like left us a little early and he wasn't the best in 2k so you know he averaged a good amount of points but his defense stuff like that 92 and 91 overalls uh scoo henderson actually got an mvp last season i skipped through it real quick because we ended up losing in the second round anyways but he ended up getting uh, another mvp that's really good for his resume but uh, i'm pretty sure those mvps and stuff are are done for now because we're 92 91 overall i mean there's still a chance but this team was really getting carried by these two players and now that we won't have any good teammates we're probably not gonna be getting another mvp okay we only have uh two years left on victor's contract one year on scoot i'm guessing scoot's gonna get maybe a three-year contract after this and victor also maybe like a one or two year contract and that'll probably be it for simulation we're already at 89 and 88 overall i'm gonna switch scoot to the shooting guard though hopefully we get a better season this time because last year we didn't even make the playoffs we ended up being in the play-in tournament and losing i was really sad to see because i want them to at least have one more final run in the playoffs. it'll just be nice to see them you know get there somewhere okay so we had a great comeback season actually we're the second seed surprise motherfucker we had 59 wins i think something like that and uh yeah uh Victor got another defensive player of the year. And let's go look at our stats real quick because we're almost done with this simulation. Who's this? Christian Dean. He was the leading scorer for us. He's injured right now, though. He had 24 points. Scoot Henderson. He's our uh, second leading scorer with 22 points. Playing the shooting guard. Victor, 21 points. And who's a point guard? All right, so this was our point guard. Damn, he's kind of not that good, huh? Let's simulate the round. Okay, we beat the Phoenix Suns. We're going against the uh, Los Angeles Lakers to simulate this round as well yes we ended up winning in seven going into memphis grizzlies they have i think that got one of these guys is all nba team members so it's gonna be a tough battle for sure uh we're down three one and we end up losing bro, are you serious right now bro that's gonna be it for sure there's no way we're coming back into it i don't think we're gonna be in the playoffs anymore let's go see what overall they end up becoming after this season yeah i'm pretty sure it's done for this team school henderson's now an 86 overall does have a two-year contract victor has a one-year contract at an 88 overall both 37 hopefully they retire at the same time too that would be uh sick to see because you know so we went from the second seed to the second worst team in the western conference i'm 36 i'm 36 and so hopefully we get like a good pick and maybe that guy can uh bring us to the finals again but i doubt it Kendall brown the greatest player in the league has finally retired huh? 79 overall 18 years pro definitely he's making the hall of fame yep hall of fame jersey retired as well no his jersey did not get retired interesting going to the draft lottery we're projected the third pick uh and we go to the fifth pick yeah um goodbye victor goodbye scoot you guys are not making the playoffs in a minute wow look at this team bro victor 83 overall and scoot in 82 um I, I i'd say it's safe to say that victor's probably the the newest uh the new goat you know six mvps six championships 13 all-star appearances 10 all nba first team two second team uh two third team 10 defensive player of the years um 11 first team all defense two second team all defense rookie of the year i don't any six and no in the finals by the way so you can't even use that for mj scoo henderson is probably like um top five maybe um yeah he's like top five for sure gotta be right two mvps it's not like you know scotty because at least he has two mvps as well so you guys won't believe it but we are actually the fifth seed right now how i don't know <laughs> you guys will not be able to tell me how we were able to make the playoff i'm gonna actually make scoo henderson a point guard let's see we're going against the golden state warriors oh wait no we're not we're going against the dallas mavericks they have uh people that we don't know a bunch of auto generated players 3-1 and 4-2 we won and we're going against the minnesota timberwolves and they have sean tatum let's see if we could beat this team this is a pretty bad team as well 2-1 
three one all right i'm gonna try to i'm i'm gonna try to get them to the finals if they're losing badly i'm gonna jump in and try to play for them because these guys suck all right like you know let me uh help them out a bit and it's, if it's like super close i'm gonna let them just play it out 20 seconds left we end up winning that one all right i don't know what it is three two or something come on we need to we need to go to the finals one more time oh man 66 to 87 seven minutes left let's see if i could win this <laughs> i don't think i can i'm gonna like skip almost all of it for you guys i'll show you guys the ending unless we're winning i'll show you like the last minute of playing i'll probably like, show some clips of right now Come on, let's get that in, bro. Henderson, layup between two people makes it go in. Drew Henderson out here. Come on, I need Scoot to clamp up. That is what he's doing so far. Come on, what a block. Ah, oh, man, I didn't, I didn't know we were in the bonus. Ah, uh, he got two free throws. Okay, I didn't know we were in the bonus. I was trying to stop it. Come on, get the foul. So we're gonna get the final shot. This is good. This is what I wanted. We're gonna get the final shot. We just gotta make these free throws and I have no idea what this guy's free throw release is. Okay, it's pretty easy. We should be able to get this. Let's go. All right, we got both free throws. We're chilling. 99 to 99. Come on, good defense. Let's get that rebound. This time out. Oh, I had the open layup. I got nervous. I should have just done it. Oh, I messed it up. Damn it. Oh, man. That shot is so quick, bro. Let's let him shoot. Let's go. Good rebound. Pass it to Lawrence. From deep. Let's go. What a pass. Damn, it wasn't a 3. 111 to 113. All right. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's take a timeout. 111 to 113. All right. Oh no, what? No, I didn't look at the time. I I choked it. Damn, I choked. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to the time. <laughs> eliminated that's it this this is gonna be done now yeah uh, we lost to the champions shit, i mean honestly there's no there's there's a chance we probably wouldn't have even beat them because it would have just been three two damn i really choked that i didn't know what was going on bro i'm not gonna lie screw henderson and victor both have one year contracts both 39 years old so i think we know what's gonna happen after this year so they both still have not retired and their teammate retired before them. What? <laughs> what are they doing, man? We are projected to have the first pick and I don't know if that's going to happen. Well, I'm going to skip the lottery. We dropped all the way to five again. Yeah, we have the worst luck. Um, Let's see where they end up signing. So here's our guys in free agency. 40 years old. They're trying to get another contract, one last contract. And I, I don't think they're going to get them. They have no offer so far. You know, they're really not that bad. 79 overall. They could still definitely play for sure. Oh, they're actually both taken. Whoa, they both got picked up. See, so, so damn, their last season is going to be in different teams. That actually sucks. I So Scoot, he's in the Golden State Warriors. He's in the Orlando Magic. All right, so let's go see how those teams are maybe they're good teams maybe they both get one of them gets the championship i'm gonna be real it kind of sucks to see that they went to different teams and of course victor goes to a terrible team let's go see where uh scoot is is this a good team that's okay um let's see where scoot at point guard 40 years old um you know what bro i'm gonna see i'm gonna make a trade for scoot henderson <laughs> so they could join the same team oh so there's no offer uh for victor i guess they want to keep him all right there's no way they don't take this right victor for 
for this guy, magic would require 3.28 more than loud. Uh, okay, I mean, this goes through. Let's see if, uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. All right. Let's put Victor and Scoo here. Screw it. <laughs> this team's not going to go to playoffs anyways. And if they do, that's another ring for them. And at the end of the season, Victor Wimbanyama is your MVP. No, just kidding. <laughs> at the end of the season, MVP, Lucas True. This is our final season. We had a good season. 50 wins, 32 losses. Magic didn't. So this was a good choice picking the... The Golden State Warriors. Let's see if they beat this team. 3-1. Oh my god, they almost just lost a 3-1. That would have been disappointing. We beat the New Orleans Pelicans. Yo, please tell me we get another ring. Who's on this? Wait. Let me make sure Victor who are playing. Who is not playing? Yo, come on. This guy doesn't need these minutes. Let's give them the scoop. Come on. Let's beat the Golden State. No, no, no. Please beat OKC. Oh my god. Please. No, we lost. We lost. That was our final chance. It's enough to make a grown man cry. But not this man. Get back in there, Tia. Oh, man. And the OKC Thunder are going to win. Yeah, OKC Thunder. Champions. Damn, bro. We were this close to getting another ring. Wow. That sucks. Even though we were going to be older. That's seven rings still. Player retirement. Victor Wampanyama. Of course, he retires. Uh, Where is Scoot Henderson? Do not tell me Scoot is still out there playing. Victor Wimbanyama, of course, goes to the Hall of Fame. 23 points per game average, 11.7 rebounds per game, 5 assists, 1.2 steals, and 3 blocks per game. Jersey retirement, of course. Jersey number 34 goes to Victor Wimbanyama. Let's go look at his final stats real quick. 21 years pro. Damn, he almost had 22. Yo, wait. Ah, I should have kept him longer to stay with Scoot because they would have had 22 years pro technically. Victor, look at these stats. Like, just look at these awards. There's no question. Victor is definitely the go. Victor has six mvps he repeated for a long time as an mvp he had six championships 14 all-star appearances 10 first team all nba two second team two third team all nba 10 defensive players of the year and 11 first team all defenses with two second team all defense rookie of the year and first team all rookie his game highs were 58 that was his highest then he never made 60 points so i'm pretty sure he did not he's not like a top scorer i don't know he played for a long time so maybe Maybe there's a chance in his final season he had a really good season actually 6.4 like two minutes per game and he had 6.4 points two rebounds almost one assist 0.2 steals and 0.5 blocks on 50 40 80 i mean he he had some time like he could have still played honestly looking at total points record scoot henderson is second all time i guess he thinks he could go for another year and get the first but there's no way he can make that he is second all time that's really impressive and victor wambayama of course is number six i didn't expect them to be super high you know he's more of a like defensive presence and the highest points per game he had was like 30 something and that only happened one time so you know i expected him to be maybe like even lower honestly but six is really impressive field goals made scoot henderson number three victor number five three pointers made scoot henderson is number one in all three pointers made and most three pointers made victor is number eight he's definitely the best shooting center because jabbar smith is a uh, power forward so he's definitely the best shooting center. Rebounds, and he's number three behind the greats Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain. In assist, wow, Scoot Henderson was this close to beating John Stockton in number two all-time assist. Yeah, it's just something with the Utah Jazz. They just, they love to pass over there. Blocks, Jesus, Victor Wembanyama with 1,000 and like 400 more blocks than Hakeem Olajuwon, who has an almost impossible record. Wow, this is what I mean when I said defensive presence. Guys, I think I'm gonna end it off there. I'm gonna show you guys the Hall of Fame for uh, Scoot, but we're being real here. We know that Scoot is not gonna probably get a contract, so I'm gonna be skipping all of this. I'm gonna see what happens. If he does get a contract, I'll let you guys know. One of Scoot Henderson's final games against the Utah Jazz, he gave them. 10 points and one assist on great efficiency i mean not from the three-point line that's for sure yo you gotta be kidding me school henderson has not retired yet he's 43 what is he doing this guy's out of his mind get out of here and uh not do this simulation anymore scoot why are you doing this to me all right the moment we've been all waiting for Drew henderson finally thank you he's finally retired oh my god at 43 years old it's a glitch that uh he only has 21 years pro i don't i don't think you can get higher than that i think he has 22 23 finally retired so he definitely has higher than uh lebron james because i checked before the season ended and he had uh, like 22 23 he ended up having the longest years pro at 23 hall of fame of course scoot henderson makes 
Celtics stat with 24 points per game average, 4.5 rebounds, 9.3 assists, and 1.1 steals. So his last two seasons, he averaged like four points per game. He didn't really do much, but rest of his career, he had a great points per game average great efficiency great assists he just had a great overall career i think uh he's definitely the best right hand man between all nba players he has two mvps by himself already you know what i mean i'd say like there's a chance that he probably might be the best um like second best or third best point guard of all time he could even be the best honestly because he did average a good amount and he has 16 all-star appearances six first team all nba five second team all nba two three uh third team all nba rookie of the year technically he doesn't really have that so let's just say first team all rookie so in my opinion there's a chance he could be the best point guard of all time i mean you know don't don't kill me for this but like two mvps and six championships that's like it's really close to what um it's really close to curry and he has i'm pretty sure he has more all-star appearances and maybe more all nba teams so i'd say he could for sure be the best point guard of all time and if that's the case he's they're definitely the best duel i'll say there's no question about that victor and scoot were definitely the best duel of all time that's gonna be it for today's career simulation let me know what you guys thought of the simulation i thought it was pretty entertaining they had they had a great career both of them the biggest surprise for sure is going to be that the utah Jazz had both picks i cannot believe that happened let me know who else you guys want to see a career simulation of i'm probably going to do a couple more picks maybe amen thompson or a sword thompson one of those and if you guys want to see more videos like this one comment down below and leave a like on this video so i know for sure you guys enjoyed it and to see other videos just like this one check the video right here on the top right corner